And let's just show you uh, the flashpoint that this currently is uh, uh, and just how bad things are right now as far as China is concerned. Just take a look at these pieces of information that we have for you right now. The, all of the flashpoints are these cities that you see on your screen right now. Uh, you know, China and its propaganda machinery is making it seem like this is not widespread. This is only confined to some places and pockets of some cities. Please take a look at this map and decide for yourself whether it is widespread or not. Apart from those northern areas, every other part of China is covered by these protests. Every province practically has at least one city where there is total chaos of this kind. Okay, joining me live now is Ross uh, Feingold, he's a pol pol political analyst, uh, joining me live from uh, Taiwan. Ross, welcome to our coverage here. Uh, you know, we've been seeing these videos coming out of China, uh, 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 you know, pretty unsettling, not the kind of thing you usually see in China. Uh, uh, Eleven cities uh, at last count, it could be more, uh, from where these uh, protests are coming from. How do you see it? You're in Taiwan right now, how do you see it? It, it shows, uh, as you've discussed, the challenges that the Chinese government has. On the one hand, they're, they're worried, uh, very worried about relaxing their zero COVID approach because yeah. of the possibility that they'll have to announce that more people tested positive and potentially more people die. On the other hand, the population is obviously very frustrated by these on again, off again. Uh, you know, it's not just an individual who gets quarantined, it's, it's neighborhoods and parts of cities and uh, look the cities are the economic engine so then yeah. that uh, leads to the other issue which is the effect on the domestic economy and frankly foreign investors uh, have made this abundantly clear and we have to be realistic multinational corporations at this point they still want to do business in china yeah. but they're they can't send uh, executives there they can't discuss new projects if the, this lockdown or uh, zero COVID approach continues because executives don't want to fly in and take the risk that they get stuck in China. And, and the government is aware of that and uh, that that's uh, something that they're concerned about, but they have their priorities and the priority still remains this zero COVID approach. It's, uh, it's, it's unsettling because, uh, you know, like you said, it's, it's not just... Uh, in pockets of China, it's in neighborhoods, it's in cities. The images coming out of at least 11 cities across China suggest that this is, uh, you know, is, is, is to use a word that's been overused in this situation. It's, this is viral. It's, you know, the protests themselves have gone in some ways totally viral. But why are these protests taking place apart from the, uh, you know, obvious, uh, obviously this is situated around the entire zero COVID policy, the clamp down, the continued lockdown in cities despite just a handful of cases. Qu uh, you know, reason number one, there is total and absolute frustration uh, among citizens with the zero COVID policy. Their lives have been at a standstill. It's, you know, into year three and nothing has changed. Citizens are subject to these harsh lockdowns at the drop of a hat and they have no choice but to comply. There is total frustration with medical care and the deaths that are taking place. Workers have been trapped at home. They're not able to earn their livelihood. There is anxiety about jobs and businesses. You saw what happened at the Foxconn Apple plant uh, in China a couple of days ago. Hundreds of housing projects are on hold because of these lockdown protocols. Officials are blaming residents. Citizens are being blamed for the mayhem that is taking place. These are rare and unprecedented protests, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing exaggerated about what we're saying. But they've erupted not just against COVID, but they've expanded to represent anger against President Xi Jinping and his regime in China. 